Hey guys, it's December 5th, so that means it is Vlogmas Day 5. Okay, so excuse the mess, as you can see. I have been, like, not cleaning today. But anyways, um, I am going to be doing the controversial parenting tag today for my vlog. Um, I have planned that I don't want to do like um, vlogs every day, you know, carry the camera around, follow myself around, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let me just start off by saying, first of all, that this is my personal opinion you know i'm not judging anyone that doesn't agree with me that does agree with me whatever you know this is my personal opinions on everything that i do and how i feel so that is my disclaimer i just had to put that out there so that no one thought i was judging or anything like the first topic is pro-life versus pro-choice i am completely pro-choice um i do believe that no matter the circumstance no matter you know whatever happened i feel like every single woman has you know she has control of her body and she has control of whatever's going on in her life and no i personally would never get an abortion or anything like that but every girl has that choice whether they want to get an abortion or not and i just feel like you know nobody can force someone to do something and nobody can force someone to not do something baby wearing i think i definitely would totally baby wear charlie is so spoiled as you can see she's sleeping right now in my arms and it's so hard for me to do anything like i can barely brush my teeth because she just cries and cries and cries and cries when i try to put her down so i'm totally for baby wearing however um she's so small though that i haven't really like tried it out yet but um when she gets a little bit bigger i definitely will be putting her in one of those um carrying things circumcision is the next topic um i don't really know like i can't answer that i don't have a boy i didn't even think about that um i don't know what i would do i feel like i probably would circumcise i mean i don't know adoption um just like i said about um the pro-life versus pro-choice thing you know every single person um has a right to however they feel whatever they want to do um adoption i feel like you know it's great there's it's great that you know people out there have the opportunity to if you can't conceive a child that they have an opportunity to give someone else's child a better life there's plenty of kids out here that have horrible horrible lives because their parents just don't have the means to really raise them. i just feel like you know it's a good thing that there's people out here that are willing to take on someone else's child even after you know not carrying them and stuff their own and i think that is so great um i personally wouldn't put my child up for adoption but i mean if there were ever you know circumstances where that like i was ever in one of those circumstances i definitely you know that's something that i would definitely consider baby piercing okay so I'm going to tell you guys a story. My mom did not get my ears pierced when I was a baby and I am terrified of needles. Probably not. I will, I'm not terrified anymore after having a baby and after being stuck with so many needles. I am not like scared anymore but I was terrified. Like I'd go to the doctor's office at 18 years old and have to have my parents hold me down because I would be like screaming, crying, going crazy. And it took me until I was in 10th grade to finally go get my ears pierced. I don't even know how it happened. I was just like, okay, I'm going. Even though I didn't even want my ears pierced, I was just like, because I was just so scared. And I finally got them pierced when I was in 10th grade. And I wanted them pierced my entire life. I've always wanted my ears pierced. And I just never did it because I was so scared. So I finally did it. And, you know, like, honestly, I want Charlotte's ears pierced when she's a baby. Um, obviously not, like, now because she's only a month old. But, like, maybe, like, one where they don't really know what's going on. I mean, if they're a girl... Nine times out of ten, they're going to want their ears pierced. If they don't, if she doesn't want her ears pierced when she's 16, take the earrings out. You don't have to wear them. It's nothing, like, serious. So, 
definitely for baby piercing because I do not want her in 10th grade like me terrified of needles but wanting her ears pierced her whole life breast milk versus formula okay so um I know that this is like a really really big thing and I see it see girls all the time like I only talk to moms that breastfeed and I think it is so ridiculous oh my goodness I, it's like judging someone for eating going to McDonald's and buying french fries instead of a salad like I mean seriously no can't judge someone for feeding their kid formula or feeding their kid breast milk a lot of times moms can't produce breast milk a lot of times it dries up I mean like my case I don't produce enough for her in a feeding she eats so much so I breastfeed I pump about two ounces every single time so I pump two ounces give her that feed her that and then I supplement two more ounces so in total I give her four ounces every feeding but I supplement two ounces of formula so she gets breast milk and she gets formula she does not latch on TMI but like my nipple isn't pulled out so I have to pump a little bit and then so my nipple can come out and then she can latch on but like it's so hard so I pump and it, that's so hard because she's hungry sometimes she's so hungry like right then and there that you know I do give her formula I give her both so you know I don't have a preference on breastfeeding or formula spanking okay I definitely was spanked my entire life <laughs> Um, anything that I did bad, you know, I definitely, that was my punishment. Like, I was never in timeout, none of that stuff that does not work. I feel like there's certain things that a child does that you don't, like, I just feel like I'm not going to spank Char Charlie every single time she does something bad. I feel, I definitely agree with spanking. I mean, I don't agree with going outside and finding a stick and beating your child with it, but... I mean, like, I definitely agree that if she does something bad enough that she deserves to get spanked. If it gets to that point. However, you know, like, I'm definitely not going to spank her unless she just does something horrible. Co-sleeping. Oh my gosh. This is so funny because I, like, made such a big deal out of having a crib. I was, like, freaking out because I didn't have one and everything like that. And I'm just like, no, she's not going to sleep in the bed with me. No, 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 blah, blah, blah. And oh my goodness. Like, the first... I know in the hospital they, like, freaked out because I fell asleep with her, holding her. And they, like, freaked out and came to my room. And it was so hard because, like, I was so sore and everything like that. And so tired. And I didn't want to get up and go and get her and everything. So when I got home, I definitely slept in the bed with her. And I definitely have been keeping, like sleeping with her I'm definitely not a heavy sleeper whatsoever like I can hear her like if she moves her arm I wake up and look at her or if the pacifier falls out of her mouth she doesn't even have to cry if the pacifier falls out I wake up and I know like I know I definitely want to start putting her in the bassinet though um just because you know I don't want her to be sleeping with me and she's so spoiled and you know I definitely want to like start teaching her to not want to just be on me 24-7 and definitely start teaching her that she needs to sleep, you know, on her own and stuff like that. But I definitely agree with co-sleeping and I love cuddling with her. Home versus public versus private versus charter schooling. Um, I definitely went to public school my entire life. Um, there was a time where I considered private school just because of the area that I lived in. Um, I definitely think that where you school your children base is like based off of where you live, the area, the type of school, the type of education that she's going to get. If you live in a good area, there's nothing wrong with sending her to public school. If you live in a bad area and the school is terrible and all this bad stuff goes on there, and trust me, there are schools like that, you know, then... I feel like that's when you consider pub private schooling and everything like that. But honestly, I feel like there's public schools that are just as good, if not better, than um, a lot of the private schools. It definitely just depends. Like, I've lived in a lot of different places and stuff like that. And I can definitely say, like, based off of the state that you live in, like, changes 
how the schools are. I know when I lived in Tennessee, the public schools were terrible and everyone was sending everyone to private school and that was like the good school. Um, here in Michigan, they're not so big on private public schooling. Um, I definitely don't want to homeschool her, that's for sure. I definitely don't agree with homeschooling unless, unless like your child is just bad or something and just can't learn in school. I definitely feel like no matter the circumstances, even if you have learning disabilities, I feel like your child should definitely be in a school environment around other children. Just, you know, if you're homeschooled, how do you make friends? How do you become social? I feel like going to school is not just about the education, but learning how to interact with other people and stuff like that. And if you're homeschooling them, they're not getting that. They're not learning that. They're just home with you all day. And I, I also feel like, you know, parents need a break. They need to go to school. Their kids need to go to school. And their parents deserve to have a time to themselves. And if you're at home with them all day, 24-7, just them, they're, they're, they have no friends. They just know their mom. That's not cool. Vaccinations. Um, I definitely plan on, um, giving Charlie all the vaccines. You know, I don't think that they're bad. I feel like, obviously, the vaccines are for a reason. And I know that a lot of, like, sometimes you can't go to school without certain vaccines. You know, I definitely want to keep Charlie as healthy as possible. So if that means that I have to vaccine or get vaccinations, then I definitely will be doing that. Like medicating your children, definitely the same thing. Cloth versus disposable diapers. Um, I can't really speak too much upon it because I don't really know too much about cloth diapers. I definitely use disposable diapers just because I don't know. I feel like cloth diapering is kind of gross. But I, honestly, I don't even really know what it is. I was, obviously, it's a cloth diaper, but like they poop in the diaper and then you wash it and put it back on them. I don't know. That's just kind of gross to me. Like I said, I don't very, I don't really know too much about it, so I can't really speak on it. Last topic, um, the cry it out method. To an extent, I believe I I agree with it to an extent, but. I don't think that I could be the mom that's like, put your child in the crib and let them cry themselves to sleep. Every time Charlie like curls up her bottom lip and starts to cry, I'm just like, oh my god, I feel so bad, like, which is why she's so spoiled. And she cries so hard, oh my goodness, and her whole face turns purple and blue, and it's so sad, and I just, I can't do it no matter how hard I'm like just let her cry let her cry let her cry I just feel like that's such torture to just let your child lay there and cry scream and cry because they want you that is so mean okay so that was it guys thank you so much for watching and um don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thumbs up if you like this video thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like this um Definitely leave me comments down below in the um, comments area. Definitely inbox me, whatever. Check me out on Instagram, love Michaela. Um, all the, all of my usernames for all everything: Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, my ask.fm. All that good stuff is down below in the drop box. So make sure you guys check that out if you do want to like follow me or whatever. Um, you could leave me suggestions on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again, and make sure you check out tomorrow's Vlogmas day six, right? Day six. Yeah, that's it. Bye guys.